Hey guys, for today's video, we are gonna be trying the Viral Unicorn Heatless Curls. I've been so excited to make a video on this. I saw this go viral on TikTok and it was one of those moments like, why didn't I think of that? Why haven't I tried that? And I tried it the other night and I loved it and I have to share with you how to do it. So I will walk you through step by step. Let's go ahead and get started. So I will put the TikTok handle of the girl, like the originator of this unicorn heatless curls. So when I first tried these, I used this, a curling rod. It worked fantastic. And what you use is just gonna depend on the curls that you want. This gave me gorgeous, beautiful chef's kiss curls. I will put a video right here so you guys can see the results of it. I'm not gonna use this one for today's video, but they call it the unicorn curls because it leaves this part out front and it just kind of chills like that, like a unicorn. <laughs> you could use whatever you want. You could use a rope tie, like I'm gonna show you today. This guy right here, this is just a regular rope tie. You could use like a hair scarf, a silk scarf. Again, it depends on the type of curls that you want. What I really love about these curls is that it curls the back of your head. It's perfect for side sleepers. So I know a lot of people don't like the original heatless curls with when you do the heatless curls on the side because you know for some people it's uncomfortable for me i really don't care it doesn't bother me i can sleep pretty much through anything so what i like to do for my unicorn heatless curls is i and this is just any heatless curls in general i kind of like to mist my hair do not ever try to do heatless curls on damp hair you will wake up with lots of kinks and it will look like absolute dog crap so what I use, I'm actually just using a leave-in conditioner and I just do like a light mist. I am not like wetting my hair, just a light little mist, just like that, that's it. A, I like to do this because I have really fine tangly hair. B, it smells really good. C, just gives me a little more like hydration and smoothing than like a spraying it with water would. Then I always go in with an oil at night because again, hydration, I wake up, with smooth, shiny hair, gets rid of my frizz, all that fun stuff. So I have tried this parting my hair down the middle and I've tried this brushing my hair back. And I think I like it when I brush my hair back versus a stark middle part. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna brush my hair back like this. You're gonna take your curling rod, your hair scarf, your rope tie, whatever you wanna use. Again, play around with it, see what you like. One day you might want to use a curling rod because you like the waves it gives you and it fits the vibe for that day or you might want to just stick with a rope tie or a hair scarf, I don't know. Totally up to you. So I'm just gonna leave some out like this and I'm gonna grab a section of hair on each side of the rope tie. Now you can hold this in your mouth, you can clip it away, do what you gotta do. But I'm gonna grab two sections of hair on each side. Now people say this is a French braid, no. It is not a French braid. With a French braid, you are crossing your strands over, picking up new strands. It is not a French braid. It is a French wrap. Big difference. Do not do a French braid with this. It will not look the same. I promise you, I've tried it. Don't do it. We're wrapping. We are holding on to the same sections of hair the entire time, all the way down. We have hair on each side of the rope tie. I'm gonna start with this section. I'm gonna take it over the rope tie, under the rope tie, back into my same hand. So we're just wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it. Same thing with this section. I'm gonna take it over the rope tie, under the rope tie, back into my same hand. So now this is where the French part comes in. We're gonna pick up a section of hair and we're just gonna add it in to our strand, just like that, combine it. But you're gonna do the same steps. You're gonna take it over the rope tie under the rope tie, back into the same hand. Same thing with the other section of hair. Add in a section of hair right next to it. Just combine the two, like that. Now it's one. You take it over the rope tie, under the rope tie, back into our same hand. There's no crossing, it is wrapping. So let's just keep going. We're gonna add in a section of hair and we are just gonna cross it over the rope tie under the rope tie, back into our same section of, <laughs> back into our same hand, I can't talk. And I'm gonna turn around here in a minute so you guys can really see it from the back. But one more time, add in a section of hair, combine it, cross it over the rope tie, 
under the rope tie, back in the same hand. So again, here's my rope tie. I'm holding a section of hair on each side of the rope tie. So starting with this section, I'm gonna hold on to it, pick up a section, and I'm just kind of going from the front to the back and adding it in. Make sure you're doing the same amount of hair that you're adding in on each side. Smooth it out and then cross it over and under the rope tie. Same thing with the other section, add in some hair, make sure it's about the same size. Smooth it out, cross it over and under the rope tie. Add in a section of hair, smooth it out, cross it over and under the rope tie. And this is literally what we do all the way down. We're just adding in some hair, smoothing it out, crossing it over and under the rope tie. So you wanna make sure you're crossing it tight, but not like too tight. So again, we're adding in hair, combining it, crossing it over and under the hair rope tie. <laughs> adding in hair. So you can see how it's a workout, like my arms are burning right now. Cross that over and under the rope tie. Add in hair, cross that over and under the rope tie. And I think I have one more section to add in right here. Add in hair, cross that over and under the rope tie. And then you can just keep doing the same motions, except we're just not adding in hair anymore. We're crossing it over and under over and under, back in the same hands. One more time and then I'm gonna to have to bring it around my shoulder. Over and under, over and under. So I'm flipping it over my shoulder so it's gonna reverse the way we are doing it. So now because I brought it over my shoulder, I'm gonna take my sections and cross them under each other. And then bring them around. Cross them under each other. You're basically just making like an X. Bring them around. Once I get to the very end, then I'm just gonna tie it. Now I did kind of bunch it up a little bit so it wasn't so long. You can see I still have this little end hanging out. So I'm gonna do a 360 and show you guys what this looks like. So it is I don't know if you can see that, it is 8.07 p.m. So we should get good results, fingers crossed, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it is nine the next morning. I slept great in these, so I'm gonna turn around, show you guys what they look like, and we're gonna take them out. So here is what they look like. Everyone always gets so mad when I brush these out with a brush. I just feel like I have to brush it out with a brush. I can't just brush it out with my fingers. That just, ir it irks me. But I'm gonna try to brush it out a little bit with my fingers. I'm just gonna do like up here with a brush, and maybe a little bit down here. I just have really tangly hair. Look how beautiful these are. Got some nice volume right here. I will say this piece right here, because it is shorter, didn't curl. Honestly, it doesn't bother me too much. I would just, I mean, you can't even really tell. If I would have pointed it out, you wouldn't have been able to tell. I'm gonna do a 360 so you guys can see it from the back. I love these curls so much and I really hope you guys do too. I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you try it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.